Can you think of you trying to fix a fraud solution, but your controls are flawed? What will a system do to you if you don't have internal controls? What will a fraud solution do to you if your hiring process is flawed? You don't do background checks. You don't validate who's coming on board. You know, before somebody goes for a senior role, there's no clearance maybe from the regulation of the day. How can that, the system in itself, just being put there, will not work if you as a bank, if you as a fintech, if you as a payment enabler, if you as a microfinance, you don't have structures, you don't have controls, you don't have guidelines and processes in place. You don't have a maker and checker kind of system internally where Frank approves Emmanuel, you know, validates the approval. You don't have a system in place where up to a certain amount of money, there are different approval levels, be it card transaction, you know, etc. So internal controls should be things that even before you think of having a fraud solution or a fraud system, the question is, and I like that when the lady from Fink had said, the human, when she was talking about the human, I felt like she was talking to me. If each of us look at ourselves and say, what is our responsibility as far as fraud is concerned in the different departments that we have and we run, that narrative starts with you. That narrative starts with us. And then once we build that narrative, it slowly comes an ecosystem conversation. But yes, uh, First Bank is one of the most recent and being the largest bank in Nigeria, I can tell you that they have one of the most robust fraud frameworks that even we as BPC has seen. So it's been really interesting, but even at that, they found ways of using what we have to achieve what they want. And they keep, if you ask them, they will tell you, we are happy that we really bought the right solution.